Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We are still on conceptual framework of accounting and now we are talking about quality characteristics of financial information. Now qualitative characteristics, in fact two types of quality of information, one is fundamental and the others are enhancing. So they are about six, seven qualities they are mentioned. So one of them is understandability. Users must be able to understand financial statement with some knowledge of business, economics and accounting and a willingness to study the information with reasonable diligence. Here, everybody cannot understand what is balance sheet and what is the income statement or what is cash flow statement. Only those who have some knowledge of business and economics and accounting as well. Because if I say somebody assets, they, they may not understand what they mean by assets. Similarly, the other one is relevance. Relevant information which is needed by the users that should be provided. Relevant to the business, relevant to the particular entity. Information has the quality of relevance when it influences the economic decision of user by helping them evaluate past, present or future events or confirming or correcting the past valuation. This is another very, very important uh, characteristic that uh, the things should be, or information should be relevant to the current current period or maybe in the subsequent period, it should be relevant. Then the timeliness. There should, there must always be a time frame when, uh, is it for a month or is it for a quarter or is it for a year? It is on a particular date. So time should be very, very important that any statement without the time frame is not acceptable. Because today, let's say if I'm preparing accounts for today, let's say today is 28th of uh, uh, May. And uh, after some time, if I want to go back and look, if the date is not there, then I think it will be difficult for me to understand. So timeliness is important. Then the materiality information is material if its omission or misstatement could influence the economic decisions of user taken on the basis of the financial statement. You know, small things are there, but here it means the material items. For example, if look into it now, if you go for a shopping and say, if you ask for a, a change of, let's say, rupee one, so you won't get it because there is no, no uh, coin available at the moment. Or if it is available, they don't have it at that particular time. So that is not a material. Material means if it affects the decision makers. You know, if he, that information is known to the decision maker, his decision might change. So that, that is the important thing. The, imp the information should be material. Comparability. Comparison with the past or maybe of some other units. For example, comparison can be with, uh, let's say, last year to this year. Comparison can be company A, company B with the similar industry. So comparability, the ability to identify trends in performance and financial position, information must be shown consistently from one period to another period and that accounting policy should be fully disclosed. This is a very uh, important thing that uh, if you feel that the policy you want, for example, depreciation, if you charge depreciation on state line basis, so onward you should charge on state line basis. If let's say this telephone, uh, telephone bills, if you put it into selling expense, so keep on putting on the selling expense. It's, 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 it's not possible that you can change it. Now, if you want to change, you should justify it. You can only justify, then you can change the methods or the, the, the concepts you have. Now, verifiability is a very important thing. You know, at the end of the day, auditors come and they ask you, provide the, provide the information 
the, what you prepare and then support it. Documentary evidence is a must and individual can verify it. Now let me tell you, all users are not going to ask you to verify the things, but at least they depend on the auditors that they, they have already verified the things which they have reported. Then reliability. Information should be reliable. People can trust, people can depend on those information. They know they are not being cheated, uh, uh, cheated about the which, 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 what information they have provided. Comparability, I explained to you, that user must be able to compare the entity financial statement through time to identify, identify trend with the finance statement of other entities to evaluate their relative financial position and performance and change in financial position constraint. That is another important thing. Timely statement to be produced. For example, now computer is there, so all data is in there and there and then you can press a button and you can get the balance sheet, income statement, everything. But then why company takes time to produce these statements? Now there are a lot of things in it and we are not going to discuss here anymore, but there is a constraint that we are not giving time, we are not supposed to give time to delay the report. Law, there is a law that at least within three months time you should produce your financial reports. Why three months time? Why not in one month's time? But there is, they have given purposely all this thing. Now, timeliness balance between benefits and costs. That is also very, very important thing. You know, we should not keep on piling up information unnecessarily and keeping incurring cost. Because what we do when we are preparing these statements, we are incurring cost as well. We hire people, we have auditors, we have accountants, we have chief managers and so on. So it's costly, so, but must keep in mind that what we are producing, it's cost effective. And if you feel that uh, if the cost is exceeding then the benefits, if you're producing this thing, then I think it is not worth. You should better stop it. Balance between qualitative characteristics and true and fair value. True and fair view, this is an again an audit terms that uh, it's, it's, it's uh, reliable, it's fair, people may take it as granted that it's the correct information. Now correct doesn't mean again that it should be 100% perfect, no way. It is not possible because all over the world I've seen that things are somehow managed uh, here and there. That's why these are, uh, many companies are uh, losing business or rather going bankrupt because the information which they disclosed in their financial statements is not true. Reliability, another important thing. The, per, uh, the information must be reliable to be useful. The user must be able to depend on it being faithful. Information has the quality of reliability when it is free from material error. That is the important thing. That there is no material error. Material error means there is no big error in it. And bias and can be depended upon by the user to, to represent faithfully and which is either purports to represent or could reasonably be expected to represent. Now this reliability is also, as I said, it's very important. To be faithful information, it should be complete, it should be neutral, and it should be free from error. But perfection is seldom, if ever, achieved. Let me tell you, we, if we expect that everything is okay, no, it's, it's highly impossible that everything is, should be okay. We come across things are going here and there, and things are wrong also. Substance over form. This is again a, a law, a rule actually, that uh, see the matters. Legal is, legally is not that important. We need to see the practice. Okay? Commercial reality realis, uh, rather than its legal form. For example, if you buy, or let's say if you get a car on lease, so basically lease, you are, you are using it for all other purposes, you are in charge of that car. But the owner is who? The lesser, not you are the owner, but practically look, you are the owner. So you, now it's a standard says that if you are taking certain on lease, you should keep it in, in your books of accounts as your own asset, although you are not the owner. So substance means the reality behind it. That should be important. 